Hey everybody, this is Joe at Synergy17. I got a quick question. I need some help on how to accomplish a few tasks in Corel. Um, a few years back, I started uh, thinking about doing some faux stitching, some fake stitching when, with my laser engraver and some tackle twill. Um, I ran into a couple issues on how to actually make the stitching, and I, I played with a couple um, different scenarios on how to make it look semi-real. So uh, my ultimate goal was to automate that and make a macro, and I kind of did, and uh, but I'm still having some issues. So I, I'd like some input. So uh, what I put up here is just to let you know what I have. I have a universal laser, and um, I'm assuming that most other lasers use some type of color system for the way they scribe, cut, and engrave. Um, for the universal, you have to have a hairline uh, to scribe and to cut, and then anything thicker will be engraved. So what I'm trying to do is this. So let's say, example, I'm going to make a T, like I'm just doing like a, I'm thinking about like jerseys and stuff, but let's say I'm just doing a letter. Um, let's make this like 3.5 inches. So anyways, um, I'm going to just do an outline so you can see what's happening here. So if I were to try to make a stitch on this, what's going to happen is I, I created um, this little thing to help me do this. So I'm going to say apply uh, stitches. Oops, let me choose this. I'm going to choose zigzag stitches. There we go. So you see right here, you can see that they overlap too much. So I'm going to undo that and make this a little bit more spaced out. And then I'll apply it. There we go. So what you see is you see this kind of fake looking stitch on there. But it's going to be good enough for what I need. Um, if I go to wireframe, you can see that they're not welded yet, which is okay. But there's a couple other issues. And that's that I need to cut on the outside but scribe on the inside or raster. Um, if I try to, you know, put a red line around it, it's going to cut all the way through, and I don't want that. So something I decided to do was to try to weld it and also make an outline. So if I highlight this and say weld an outline, it does some magic in the background. And then what you're going to see is I have this part here. And so now I could take this part here and now you can see I can cut here and raster here and not cut here so that's perfect what I need the only problem is trying to automate this I can't figure out how to get rid of all these little triangles inside so let me move this away and you'll see what I mean I'm gonna move this over here and I have this here so the only way I can think about doing it is to take this break it apart and either highlight it all and weld it so I could either take this whole thing and just weld it and that will make them disappear or I can hit delete and delete them so now I have the outline of my stitch which is going to cut my tackle twill and then this part here will raster so then it will look like it's a twill um, I hope that makes sense so for example if I had whoops, if I was trying to do like you know if I had a yellow piece of twill it would kind of look like this and it would be cut out look like it's stitched so that's one thing so I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of those little pieces in there um, also, I try to make the stitch hairline, but then it's too thin, and I can't really do the welding, and, and, and that part messes it up. So it's going to have to raster, and I don't know how long it's going to take to go back and forth and raster that whole part. The other thing um, I was wondering, I didn't know if, if there's uh, another stitching that might be popular. Like, let's say we're doing a patch. So let's just make a round circle or something, or sorry, a rounded rectangle. So let's say um, this was going to be a patch. I tried to make also a straight stitch. So, for example, if you just wanted to cut this out of leather or something, um, you can just apply a stitch like this. So what it'll do is it'll make we'll cut this one, and then we'll scribe this one, and that way it looks like a stitch even though it's not and of course I guess you could always make this thicker I mean for my for me to do a scribe I have to hairline it like this and of course you can change some some of the settings here if you want to go into here uh, and, and change that but um, anyways I'm struggling with a couple things if someone could just give me some um, input on what you think about this if it's useful if it's not useful um, a couple other things I mean let me, let me just kinda go over one more thing 
Um, I'll do the letter again, doesn't really matter. So some of these other buttons, what they do is, let's say, let's go back to 3.5. All these do is this create contours <coughs> is like if you had two pieces of twill. You want to do two pieces of twill on top of each other. I can make this like, uh, like say, create contour to the outside, and it'll put this uh, second one on there. And then just to so you can see the difference, I could take these both and then uh, apply the zigzag stitch on both of them. See, and it's kind of close. So what I might want to do is make my contour a little bigger. And then I could apply the stitch to both of those. So anyways, and then you would turn on and take this. And you, you can do it one by one. Like I could take this one and, uh, and do the weld. Or if you, don't want, if you don't want to do that, if you want to have another method, I made it so you can just clear the weld. And then you have this piece here. And you'll see, or sorry, clear the blend and it's still not welded or anything, but then you can try to figure out another way, another method of doing it. It's just basically to try to make the stitch part of it. So if you think like, um, maybe you want it to be stitched on the outside like that, but then maybe you make this a little smaller and it fits on the inside, so you don't have to worry about um, trimming it or whatever. You can just make this smaller and put the stitch on the outside. I just don't know how well that'll look. Anyways, if you guys have any input, uh, I'd really like it just to tell me... Um, you know what I could do to make it better or to make it look more realistic more realistic or or even how to uh, fix some of my issues um, I think I kind of all this is this is just the number of contours you want inside or outside contour how much contour space you want um, oh, here let me show you this what this does is this is the stitch size so for example something I, I did is if I make this too big let's say I made this it was a let's say it's gonna be a giant patch like nine inches or something if I try to do this and say uh, apply a stitch, uh, it might look super tiny or it might look pretty too big. So what I could do is I could actually take this and make my stitch size actually bigger or smaller. So if I really wanted to keep it small, I could do this and apply as little tiny stitches. Versus if I went with you know like uh, zero eight, I'll probably have a lot bigger stitches. See how they're huge. But then what you have to do is, since these are overlapping, now you have to change your spacing here. So I, those are too close. I probably want that to be like uh, 1.0. Oops. And see now, now this will go perfectly over it. A little bit better. It looks a stitch a little better. So that's all this does is this changes the stitch size and this changes the space between the stitches. And then um, the only difference is the clear blend just allows you to move this aside and it's not welded but you do whatever and if you do the the other one like I said if you do this one weld an outline it creates that outline whoops I gotta highlight them both uh, maybe I didn't oh I know why it's because I already cleared the path I mean, there we go there was no blend since I already cleared it so no, that'll fix it so now I have this part here, which I, would be my cut. But like I said, my problem is getting rid of these things. Anyways, just some ideas. So if you have any feedback on what can make this better or anything, let me know, please. Thanks.